an introduction to the proclamation. The proclamation of the new sovereign is a very old tradition which can be traced back over many centuries. The ceremony does not create a new king. It is simply an announcement of the accession, which took place immediately on the death of the reigning monarch. In an age where modern methods of communication convey news around the globe in an instant, the proclamation is no longer the means by which people learn for the first time that they have a new monarch. Today, however, is one of the first occasions when communities have an opportunity to come together and reflect on the moment in our nation's history when the reign of our longest serving monarch came to an end and our new sovereign succeeded. There is a tradition that when the monarch visits a borough, the mace, the symbol of the mayor's authority is inverted in recognition of the authority of the crown. And in today's ceremony, the mace will be inverted as a similar signal of recognition that the crown has passed from our late sovereign to her successor. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of the borough of Wokingham. We come together this afternoon following the passage of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries, the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of the borough of Wakingham of the beginning of our new king's reign. Yesterday, the Accession Council met at St. James Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flag which has flown at half-mast since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The Accession Council also made an order requiring the High Sheriffs to cause a proclamation to be read in the areas of their jurisdiction. The High Sheriff of the Royal County of Berkshire discharged that duty earlier today. And now, with my humble duty, I now bring the words of the proclamation to the residents of the Borough of Wokingham. To all our guests here today, the proclamation of accession. Where it has passed almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign, Lady Queen Elizabeth, the second of our blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is soulfully and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We therefore, the Lord spiritual and the temporal of this realm and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her late Majesty's Privy Council and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, we do hereby one voice and consent of tongue and the heart publish and proclaim the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory become our lawful and rightful liege Lord Charles III by the grace of God of our United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland of his other realms and territories King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we acknowledge all their faith and obediences with humble affection, beseeching God by whom kings and queens do reign, 
to bless his majesty with a long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James Palace this 10th day of September in the year, O Lord, 2022. God save the King! God save the King! God save the King! Thank you. Save the king. Hooray! Royal salute! Yes. 